pondered how virtual assistants like Alexa and Siri sound so human? How well do they comprehend every word you speak? The alchemy of natural language processing or NLP is responsible for all of that. You can understand what computers are saying and even make them sound human using NLP. Building machines that comprehend and react to text or voice data and reply with text or speech of their own, much like humans do, is the goal of natural language processing. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipath. In this video, I will be talking about natural language processing. Now let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we'll understand what exactly is natural language processing. After which, we'll take a look at the phases of NLP and why is NLP important. Moving on, we'll see what are the NLP use cases in businesses and how does NLP work. After which, we'll take a look at what are NLP tasks and what are the approaches to NLP. And lastly, we'll see what are the advantages and disadvantages of NLP. Before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates from us. Now let us start with the first agenda, which is what is natural language processing? A machine learning technique called natural language processing or NLP enables computers to understand, manipulate and analyze human language. The amount of speech and text data that organizations now have comes from a variety of communication channels including emails, text messages, social media newsfeed, video, audio and more. They automatically process this data and examine the message's meaning or sentiment and react to human communication in real time using NLP software. Now let's take a look at the phases of NLP. We have lexical analysis, syntactic analysis, semantic analysis, discourse analysis and lastly pragmatic analysis. Moving on, we'll understand why is NLP important. It is essential to completely and effectively analyze text and speech data, which requires NLP, that is natural language processing. It can work around the various accents, slang terms, and grammatical quirks present in everyday speech. Companies use it for a variety of automated duties, including running chatbots for automated customer support, processing, analyzing, and archiving large documents, and analyzing customer feedback and call center recordings, respond to who, what, when, where inquiries, and lastly, sort and separate texts. NLP can be incorporated into applications that interact with consumers to improve customer communications. For instance, a chatbot sorts and analyzes customer inquiries, automatically replying to simple inquiries and referring more complex ones to customer support. This automation lowers cost, frees up agents' time from repetitive queries and boosts client satisfaction. Moving on, let's see what are the NLP use cases in businesses. Businesses use NLP tools and softwares to automate, streamline and reduce processes in an effective manner. First is redacting private information. Large volumes of sensitive papers including medical records, financial information, and private data are processed, sorted, and retrieved by businesses in the insurance, legal, and healthcare sectors. Companies use NLP technology to redact personally identifiable information and safeguard sensitive data rather than reviewing manually. With Amazon Comprehend, for instance, Chisel AI assists insurance companies in extracting policy numbers, expiration dates, and other specific customer attributes from unstructured documents. Customer Interaction Chat and voice bots can now converse with consumers in a more human-like manner thanks to NLP. Chat bots are used by businesses to scale customer support capability and quality while minimizing operational costs. Amazon Comprehend is used by PubNub, a company that creates chatbot software to offer localized chat features to its clients worldwide. T-Mobile employs NLP to find particular keywords in customers' text messages and provide tailored advice. Using machine learning technology, Oklahoma State University has implemented a Q&A chatbot system to respond to inquiries from students. And lastly, enterprise analytics. Marketers can gain a knowledgeable understanding of how customers feel about a company's goods or services by using NLP tools like Amazon Comprehend and Amazon Lex. They can determine the customer's moods and sentiments from written comments by scanning for particular phrases. For instance, 
Success KPI offers natural language processing solutions that assist organizations in concentrating on specific mood analysis topics and assisting contact centers in deriving useful information from call analytics. Now let's see how does NLP work. To understand human language, computational linguistics, machine learning and deep learning models are combined in LLP. First, let's understand what is linguistics using computers. The study of human language models created using software and machines is known as computational linguistics. To develop frameworks that aid computers in comprehending conversational human language, researchers use computational linguistics techniques like syntactic and semantic analysis. Computational linguistics is the foundation of software for voice recognition, text-to-speech synthesizers, and language translators. Next up, we have machine learning. With the aid of example data, a computer can be trained using machine learning to increase its effectiveness. Sarcasm, metaphors, different sentence structures, as well as exceptions to grammars and usage are just a few of the many characteristics of human language that it takes years for humans to learn. Programmers train NLP applications to identify and comprehend these features accurately from the outset using machine learning techniques. And lastly, we have deep learning. A subset of machine learning called deep learning trains computers to learn and think like people. It makes use of a neural network which is made up of data processing nodes organized to mimic human brains. Deep learning allows computers to identify, categorize and correlate intricate patterns in the incoming data. Let's take a look at the next agenda which is what are NLP tasks. It is extremely challenging to create software that correctly ascertains the intended meaning of text or voice data because human language is rife with ambiguities. Homonyms, homophones, sarcasm, idioms, metaphors, exceptions to the rules of grammar and usage, and changes in sentence structure are just a few examples of the irregularities in human language that takes humans years to learn, but that programmers must teach natural language-driven applications to recognize and understand accurately from the beginning if those applications are to be useful. In order to assist the computer understand the text and voice data it is ingesting, several NLP tasks deconstruct human text and voice data. And let's take a look. The process of accurately translating voice input into text is known as speech recognition also referred to as speech-to-text. Any program that responds to voice commands or questions must use speech recognition. The way people speak, quickly slurring words together with different emphasis and intonation in various accents and frequently using improper grammar makes speech recognition particularly difficult. The method of identifying a word's part of speech based on its use and context is known as part of speech tagging, also known as grammatical tagging. In the sentences, I can make a paper plane and what make of car do you own? The word make is classified as a verb and a noun respectively. Word sense disambiguation is the process of choosing a word's meaning from among its possible meanings using semantic analysis to determine which word makes the most sense in the situation at hand. Word sense disambiguation, for instance, clarifies the difference between meanings of the verb make and make the grade achieve and make a bet that is place. The job of determining whether and when two words refer to the same entity is known as co-reference resolution. Sentiment analysis looks for intangible elements in text such as attitudes, feelings, sarcasm, confusion, and mistrust. Natural language generation is the process of converting structured data into human language. It is sometimes referred to as the opposite of voice recognition or speech-to-text. Now let's take a look what are the approaches to NLP. Firstly, we have supervised NLP. Software is trained using supervised NLP techniques using a collection of labeled or known inputs and outputs. Before learning how to create the right output from any unknown input, the program first processes huge amounts of known data. For instance, businesses teach NLP software to classify documents using predefined labels. 
Moving on, we have unsupervised NLP. When fed a non-labeled input, unsupervised NLP employs a statistical language model to predict the pattern that will appear. As an illustration, text messaging's autocomplete feature recommends appropriate words based on the user's answer and the context of the sentence. Natural language understanding. The study of sentence meaning is the center of NLP subset known as natural language understanding or NLU. The software can process words with multiple meanings or discover similar meanings in different sentences thanks to NLU. Lastly, we have natural language generation. On the basis of particular keywords or subjects, natural language generation or NLG aims to produce conversational text like humans do. An intelligent chatbot with NLG capabilities, for instance, can communicate with customers in a manner comparable to that of customer support agents. With that, we come to the advantages of NLP. Users can ask questions about any topic and receive a direct answer in a matter of seconds, thanks to NLP. Because NLP provides precise responses to questions, it does not provide extraneous or unneeded information. NLP enables computers to speak the language of people and interact with them. It does save a lot of effort. The majority of businesses employ NLP to increase the accuracy and speed of documentation processes as well as to extract information from huge databases. And lastly, let's take a look at some of the disadvantages of NLP. NLP might not display context. NLP might be erratic. NLP might necessitate more key presses. And lastly, NLP is designed for a single, narrow task because it cannot adapt to new domains and has a limited purpose. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.